Oh yeah, friends and fam, welcome back to another episode of Captain Coastal Outdoors with yours truly and today we're doing a little catch and cook action. We're going to cook a venison sheep's head mushroom roast in the crock pot for you. So you've been watching us smack deer with archery equipment all year and we have a great season. I put three deer in the freezer myself. I actually shot one in rifle as well that you guys need some footage of. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys a quick, dirty, delicious, venison or deer meat recipe that you can make with very minimum experience in culinary arts but it is delicious and a fan favorite amongst all. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a rump roast which is the hind quarter roast basically the gluteus maximus of a white tailed deer and we're going to put that in the crock pot with a bunch of delicious goods. I'm going to show you how to season and prep it and then we will taste test later this evening when it's ready. So let me show you what we need in order to bring this recipe to life. All right, so here's our fixin' in order to make this mushroom venison roast recipe. You need two to three large bell peppers. I prefer green, but red adds a little bit of sweet as well, which is awesome. You need two medium or one large onion. You want about a cup and a half of mushrooms. In this case, we're gonna use wild picked sheep's head mushroom from that Colossus you watched us catch here on the channel. You need three packages of brown gravy mix. You can get McCormick's or you can get some other brand if it doesn't really matter. You need salt, you need garlic salt, you need pepper, and last but not least, you need one three to four pound venison rump roast. So we're gonna put the venison to the side here for a couple minutes. And our first step is we need to slice up all our veggies. So our mushrooms are already prepared. They're all sliced up into little pieces. They're not those big fronds like you saw on the original mushroom. But after washing the peppers and onions, we need to dice and slice these up. So let's start with that. We want to cut these into slivers. You don't want to cube this up. You want to keep the peppers a little bit larger so they don't cook too quick once we throw them into the crock pot. And again, this red pepper will provide a little bit of a sweet flavor with the savory, salty, peppery, black pepper that is, flavors that we will be encountering in this dish. Then we're going to take our onions, peel them, and slice them up very similarly to the how we did these peppers. I didn't think it was going to sting. Oh, my eyes. Frickin' onions. In case you're wondering what kind of onions these are, you can use yellow onions or you can use sweet vidalias. These are yellows, but I've also made this same recipe with sweet Vidalia onion, which is kind of like the same concept as red pepper. Red pepper will add a little bit more sweet, uh, whereas the yellow is a little bit more on the savory end. Now that we got our veggies and our mushroom cut up, and that my eyes feel like they're gonna blow it out of my head. We're going to push all that over the side and the next step is we are going to season our roast. So 
So basically all we're gonna do with this roast, and make sure if you're working with raw meat in your kitchen that you sanitize the heck out of everything. Sanitize the counters, sanitize the plates, the utensils, anything you touch. Make sure you're keeping it clean. I don't even keep my wedding ring on because I'm not letting the meat juice get into the mess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some garlic salt here. And we're gonna pour that all over the meat, just like that. And then we're gonna kind of rub it in. All right, gonna kind of rub that in, make sure that flavor is there. We're gonna turn the roast, take some more. I'll be sanitizing this container when I'm done. Rub that in a little bit, yada da. Turn it over again. More. Rub it in, just like that. One more quarter for this roll. Do this, la di da, rub it in, boom. Now you just seasoned it with garlic salt. We're gonna do the same thing, black pepper though. You can be as generous or as cautious with seasoning your meat as you so choose. I like pepper and garlic salt on my venison though. It really does bring out the steak flavor and that's what I want. I want this tasting like a ribeye. And now we're going to do the same thing with just some regular old salt. The salt is really going to bring out the flavor in this meat. Maybe more so than anything else we add to it. Alright, so now that we got our veggies cut and got our meat seasoned, we're going to take our gravy over to the crock pot here and we're going to set this up for some cooking. So step three, since we have everything cut now, is to prep into the crock pot. So I'm going to show you those steps one by one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some onions, we're gonna take some peppers, and we're gonna create a layer on the bottom of the crock pot where you can't see any of the ceramic at the base. So I like to go heavy with the onions on this aspect of it, but you also wanna use your peppers and you're gonna use some of your sheep's head mushrooms as well. So you make something looks like so. That's layer one. Then we're gonna take one pack of brown gravy mix and we're gonna mix it with one cup of water and we're gonna pour it over these veggies. So we'll take the browning mix, throw it into the cup, mix it up in a cup of water and then you're going to pour that over your vegetables boom just like that oh make sure you get all that make sure you get all the stuff all the gravy mix out of the cup We'll go a little lighter on the water for the next cup since there's twice as many in there. Next we're going to take our roast and we're just going to throw that baby right there, right in the center, just like so. Then we're going to cover this with more onions, peppers, and mushrooms, just like this. Alright, covered up. And just like before, you're gonna take the next pack of brown gravy mix, rip that sucker open, pour it in the cup, mix it with a cup of water, and dump it right over top of your concoction here. Be careful with your proportions. I put a little bit less water in this cup than I did on the first one because I had to throw some extra in to get the rest of the gravy mix out of the bottom of the mixing cup. And we're just gonna slowly pour that right over your meat, just like so. Now, if you got any remaining stuff, veggies or mushrooms, we wanna throw that right over top of the meat, just like we did before. Throw some around it, I mean, don't be afraid. This sheep's head mushroom has such a good flavor that I have zero reservations about using a lot of it. And at this point, we're gonna actually add more salt. And 
and just a hint more of garlic salt before we start cooking. And then you guessed it, we got one more pack of gravy mix and we're gonna throw that over top of this solution as it sits right now. And that's it, the crock pot mixing is done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the lid on this crock pot Make sure it's plugged in. And then we're gonna set this baby on low power for eight hours. And boom, now we're just gonna let it sit there. And in eight hours, we'll come back and check it out. So that'll put us at around eight hours from now, it'll put us about 6 p.m. We'll come in here and we'll see how this tastes. We're actually gonna serve this dish over some rice that I boil on the stove top. Ooh, it's gonna be juicy. I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so I'm gonna cut a small piece off here. Here we go. First bite. Mmm. That's just what I needed after a long day of hunting. Or anything for that matter. Hey, like and subscribe if you like this catch and cook action. Until next time, shoot straight, stay strong. That is it. I'm out. Mm -mm -mm.